Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make caramelized cinnamon hot chocolate. When it's cold outside, I love to indulge by curling up with a cup of hot chocolate. And of course, I love the good stuff, which means it's homemade. Today's hot chocolate recipe is super indulgent, easy to make, and totally delicious. It'll chase away any winter blues that you have. It starts with a cinnamon infused homemade caramel that's absolutely amazing. We're gonna start over here on the stove. I'm using this wide saucepan so that's easier for you to see, but you can just use a regular one. I'm gonna put in two thirds a cup of sugar and turn the heat to medium and I'm gonna place in two sticks of cinnamon. We'll remove the sticks of cinnamon later. Having them in the pan will infuse the cinnamon flavor into the sugar as it caramelizes. Next, you'll take a rubber spatula and gently stir the sugar around. And as the pan heats up, the sugar will begin to melt and caramelize. This process is slow, so be patient. Don't try and speed up the process by increasing the heat or your sugar might burn. Before you know it, your sugar will start melting. You can see how it's shimmering on the bottom of the pan. So just keep scraping it up and moving everything around so nothing catches and burns. You can see that it's getting all clumpy, but that the clumps are starting to remelt. That's exactly what you're looking for and it's starting to turn a golden color. After a few minutes, it'll reach a nice deep caramel color and that's exactly what you're looking for. Then you'll remove the cinnamon sticks and you can already smell them. So you can smell that infused flavor. And we're gonna pour in about half a cup of whole milk. You see how that bubbles and sizzles. And we'll stir it in and it's gonna seize our caramel just a little bit. We're gonna use four cups total of the milk and you just wanna slowly stir this in. As the milk heats up, the caramel will dissolve into the milk for that nice, delicious, caramelized cinnamon flavor. Once again, patience here is the key. Once the caramel has dissolved and the milk is heated up, we're gonna add in eight ounces of chopped bittersweet chocolate. And then we'll stir this in until it's melted. I wish they would hurry up and invent Smell-O-Vision so you could smell this. It smells incredible in here. Once the chocolate is melted, we're gonna transfer this all to a blender. Be sure to allow the blender to vent and then blend it until it's smooth. 60 seconds should be enough to give it a nice smooth finish and then you are ready for a drink. This recipe will have you indulging all winter long. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes just like this one that you can easily make at home. See you later.